All right, hopefully it's recording. Uh, yeah, we got a new update today for H3VR. A uh, small one, because this is a new alpha cycle. So Anton has decided to uh, work on things for the eventual update 90. Sorry, I had to scratch my legs here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so a small update today. Uh, let me just make sure my space here is cleared. And uh, I'm at the center of my play space. Okay, good. And uh, yeah, so let's check it out. Uh, before we get to the main thing, let's check out the new weapon that Anton added, which is the SIG P226 Mark 25. It's not on the table for some reason, but uh, it's in the item spawner, so there you go. You guys wanted a uh, P226? You got it. Huh. That's a little weird. I have a little bit of stuttering in my, uh, my HMD for some reason, but I don't know. Maybe that's just uh, inside the HMD. I don't know. But uh, fires 9 by 19 millimeter. Pretty cool. And also has a 20 round magazine. This is a, what is this? Just a regular magazine. Fifteen? Oh, okay. Fifteen rounds, I think. Yeah, well, anyways. Uh, anyways, let's take a look at the main thing here, which is the uh, new targets. Oh, well, new target. It's singular. Well, there are two of them, but uh, let's see. New paper target testing. This target is experimental and surprisingly complicated. We are currently testing for stability and odd behavior. Many parameters, such as damager per cell curves based on projectile cross-section size, are still being tweaked. Collision is wrong in many cases. Okay. Uh, oh, steam form bug reports, if there's any bugs. Uh, stability testing, hit reaction polish, blah, blah, blah. Stuff that uh, will come later. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Oh, new target. Let's make this strong for right now. Whoops. Oh, OG target. There we go. I will take a look at that new target in a minute. But uh, let's grab ourselves a magazine here. Ooh, I can see through it. Oops. Ooh, I don't know if you can see through that. Let's make the hole a little bigger. Need more magazines. Even more magazines. So close. I can feel it. There we go. We got a little bit of floating uh, particle right there. You see that? Oops. There we go. Now we got a bigger hole. Stick our gun through there? No, we can't. Oh, that's uh, well, uh, you know, it, it's only a, a simulation. You can't really uh, do things like that. You stick your gun through there. Huh. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Probably the whole video is just going to be me shooting at the, the paper targets. Oh, let's make a smiley face. Hold on. Oh, I like this change now, too. Instead of having to go and press the button, there's a laser. Let me just uh, connect these into mags here. Oh wait, oh there it is. I thought the uh, P226 was going to be on the table. No, it's over here on the... Uh... Yeah, okay. Yeah. So let's make a smiley face. Let's see. How big do we... How... Let's do the center of the black target right here. <laughs> it's okay. 
It's not the best smiley face. It'd have bigger eyes. Eyes a little too big. You know what? I think we should expedite the process. Oh, we got two of these now. That's pretty cool. I'll just keep these. Let's keep that there. Let's uh, let's uh, let's make this process a little bit faster. Let's grab ourselves a. Uh... Well, you know we can do a lot of things. But. Uh... <clears throat> You know, what, what What would a larger caliber weapon do? That was 9 by 19 millimeter. Let's try 45. Let's see what that's like. Oops. Oh, no. I really hate it when that happens. Oh, I lost my gun. There it is. All right. Nope, nope. Strong. Is that a bigger hole? Let me uh, let me check here. Wait a minute. These are all empty. Get out of here. Ooh, yeah. Oh, the 45 ACP has a bigger, slightly bigger hole than the uh, 9 mil. That's pretty cool. Let's try uh, a weak target here. This is the one that, uh, that, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, destructs more easily. <laughs> My grammar is not that great. I'm not a native English speaker, if you could tell. So words, uh, sometimes, whoa, that's actually pretty cool. Just, that hole just opened up in the middle. Let's see if we can, uh, we can cut out more holes here. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of a, oops. Whoa, that's uh, weird. I just hit that for some reason. It's like that, it's like that, that uh, tear grew or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a, that would be a new game though, cutting cutting the uh, holes out. Oh no! Which one was it? This one? No, this one. Hmm, close. I, I kind of went over the lines a bit, but uh, let's try the. Uh, Last the seven ring here. Ah, oh, come on, I could I can do better than this. <laughs> oh, almost. A little bit, little edge right there. Oh man, I went over the lines. What you need to do is uh, like this. Oh, we got a little bit of a uh, stuff right there. there there we go I got a nice little uh how many sizes one two three four five six seven eight two three four five six seven eight yeah octagonal window oh man hold on I gotta scratch my head here a little nice octagonal window for you okay <laughs> all right all right what else can we do? Uh, let's see. What about a, a tiny 22? Let's get a 22 here. But also, let's get the uh, 50 AE. 
that magazine. Ooh, respawn lock that. Although, again, I fixed my trackpad, so pretty cool. Uh, give me a... Uh, let's not do an exploratory. Let's go with the... Oh, hey. 36 Moses. What does that look like? Get the Firefly pistol in here. Oh, come on. And then we need a... Ooh, FN57. Yes, we do. 5.7 mag. Okay. Uh, let's get the Mark IV Whisper. The integrated suppressor. Get that 22. Okay. Got 45 ACP. Well, we can get rid of the uh, Mark 23. And try something else. Is, uh, oh, 5.56. Well, I was going to go with uh, maybe a carbine or an assault rifle, but uh, we'll be fine. Get the 20 rounder. That one there. 380 auto. Okay, let's grab that. That there. I don't know where to put this. I'm out of spots. All right, let's just do that for now. Let's clear out these empty mags. And let's do a let's do a strong target here. Let's start off with the uh, 5.56 or 223. Go. Nice little tiny hole. There you go. See that? All right. I'll go Desert Eagle. Ooh. Nice big holes. And then we've got the uh, Moses 36. Whoa, 36 caliber is pretty large. And then what do we got here? The FN57. Are those uh, smaller? They're probably the same size, yeah. Close to. FN57. And then we've got the uh, 22. Nice tiny holes. Then we've got the uh, 380. Only seven rounds in there. I think. Was it seven? Three, four, five, six, six. Plus one in the chamber at seven. All right, so three of these. Let's get some more guns in here. Let's see, uh, 380, 9 millimeter, 455 Webley Auto. Ooh, get some of these guns in here. The TT33. 9 million, uh, 9 millimeter. Uh, what else? 38 ACP? Yeah, why not? Add on there. Hmm. What else? What else do we have? That's 22 wind mag. Oh, yeah, you know what? Fine, let's take that one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Makarov. Mass twenty two is a twenty two. Nine millimeter. Oh wow. Okay. We're gonna do this as well. Get that clip going. And we'll do one more. Hmm. Ooh. The 
boar shark. Bergman. Oh, I could have done the Bergman. With the simplex. 8 millimeter. That's pretty small, right? Oh, the volcanic. Oh, yeah, that's right. Really forgot about the volcanic. Oh, no. Too many guns. We got the volcanic. Where's the volcanic? Lever action. Okay. Nope, I don't have any spaces here. We'll just have to uh, go over here and do it. Okay. So this is uh, eight millimeter. Hmm, not as small as a twenty-two or a uh, five point five six, but uh, pretty good. This is the Webley. 455, right? Ooh. Nice big holes. The pocket hammer. No, wait, hold on. Uh, yes, the... Uh, nope, that's not the right one. Oh, this one. No. TT33. That's not right. <laughs> this is the Pocket Hammers magazine. Yep. Hold on. Let's get the Volcanic in here. Oh, goodness. Oh, I did that. Go. Throw that away. Okay, cool. Close. Uh, the wind mag. I think it was this one. Or, no, it was this one. Yes, it was. That's a lot for that. <laughs> I forgot how many that was. And the uh, Makarov. Which, I, oh man, I completely forgot what the, uh, the, uh, the type of round it was. All right. Stripper clip to the side. And this, the Borchart, which, uh, wait a minute, what magazine is this? Isn't this the Makarov? Oh, this is the Makarov. All right. Just seeing all the uh, various hole sizes. All right, I think I've got most of all the unique stuff. Get the 600. Got it. Okay. Right here. Not as big as the uh, 36 Moses, but, uh, yeah. Get larger. Let's get some uh, 454 here. Oh, this only has five. Whoops. I missed. Right here. All 
All right, let's see. Ooh, ladies' companion. Actually, this is 10 millimeter DSM. Try this out. Two, three, four, five. Cool. I'm going to fill up this whole target with like bullet holes of different sizes. Uh, what else? 10 millimeter and 4570 government. Eh, let's just get this over with. Because uh, I know the. Uh, oh, yeah, this one is a. Uh, <laughs> two, three, four. Oops. Five. Oh, did I just make that hole larger by hitting it? I just did, didn't I? That's not there. I went a little too close with it. Alright, I, I just realized that this is going to take a long time, so I'm going to probably stop it at the next weapon here. Let's go with something larger. Let's go with the... Uh, let's go with the uh, anti-material. Let's go with the triple regret here. 50 BMG. Got one, two, and a three. All right. Now, again, 38 Moses seems to be the biggest one. Which uh, is a fictional, completely fictional cartridge, so. Anyways. Just uh, look at that pattern of uh, bullets, bullet holes. Pretty cool. Go with the week this time. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's get a... Uh, Let's see, one of the fastest guns in the game. If I recall correctly, I think one of them is the Evo 3. Get that 50 round mag out here. Get rid of all these bullets. Don't set off any uh, fires in here because uh, that would be pretty bad. Full auto. See if we can cut this thing down. I didn't quite get it on uh, two magazines. There we go. Actually, you know what? Go five meters. I'm going to spend like an hour just playing around with this thing. Oh man, that's going to be a boring video. Oops. Two. Completely obliterate the target. That's what that's what we're gonna do. I really love the feedback that uh, this is giving me, you know, because before with a with the uh, regular target, it'd just be like bullet holes, and then you'd have to, oh, he removed the thing, because it's easier to see now, you know, like when you when you shoot like an area repeatedly, and it like opens up like oh that's that's where I'm hitting you know it's 
like, yep, I'm hitting that spot right there. Pretty cool. Let's uh, cut it vertically. Let's see if we can cut it vertically. You shouldn't do this in a real range, though, because uh, you'd be shooting in the ceiling, and uh, those uh, those guys don't like that. Oh, I guess it doesn't fall down. You know, we need something with a bit more... Uh, bullets. Because 50 rounds ain't doing it. Try something a lot more uh, fun Go with a support machine gun. Ooh, let's go with the uh, MG42. Okay, there we go. That giant box. I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I'm going to put that there. Oh, yeah, here we go. Take the bipod, uh, bipod, bipad, the bipod out. Oh, come on, grab it. Did I? Oh, no. Five meters, five meters. I need something with a little bit more controllability. Whoops. That. Something that is not as large. And also, the target is pretty much gone, so... But we can still shoot the one on the ground. But that's just going to cause a lot more lag. So many particles. Get yeah, one more box. <laughs> you know what? Let's go with a strong. Five meters is fine. Let's go with a strong box. Okay, I made a line there. All right, let's get rid of this. Kind of too big and unwieldy for me. That's a good, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a fine, fine machine gun. But uh, let's go with uh, go with something a little smaller. The mini gun. That's smaller, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we're gonna do this. I guess we're gonna do it. Oh, let me uh, let me check my uh, results here for a minute. Ooh, so close, man! If I could just get a little bit more, I would have cut this thing in half. But we'll just reset that for now because we're gonna do a minigun. Five meters.
Wish this had a laser or something. Maybe uh, an attachment point for a laser may would be nice, but uh Okay, whoa, man. A lot of smoke there. Let's just uh, put that away for now. See our results. <laughs> Thing looking like Swiss cheese, man. Look at this. Oh, man. I do not want to be on the uh, business end of that minigun. All right, what else can we use here? Let me get rid of this. Whoop. All right. You know what? I want to try some grenades. Flamethrowers aren't going to work, obviously. Because right? if I remember correctly, Anton said that only projectiles can uh, damage the target. So, I don't, unless the uh, flame particles are projectiles, which they probably are not. You can't shoot through. Ooh. That's nice. You can shoot through the the holes. Oh wait, well you can you can shoot through anyways. All right, well, so yeah, since uh, flamethrowers are not projectiles, those won't work. But what about explosives? They do have shrapnel. So let's try ourselves the thumper, the standard, and uh. Let's go with a uh, weak target this time. Five meters. Actually, let's try the uh, new one out. See the nice uh, contrast right there. Okay. Well, nope, it didn't blow it up. I wonder if I uh, if we can turn on uh, bullet trails here. Five point five seconds. Ah, this one doesn't fragment as much. So we'll need a fragmentation round. Uh, please don't do that. <laughs> Give me the bullet. Uh, oh. Yeah, come on. Yep. Oh, goodness. All right, so we need a fragmentation round. Let's see. Let's see. Wait a minute. 40 millimeter caseless grenades. HE frag. Oh, well, this is a frag. Okay. Oh, this is caseless. Oh, goodness. Uh, hold on. Oh, 40 by 46. Okay. Uh, why I spawn that? Airburst. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I should do that instead. Hmm. Anti-personnel. Basically like a shotgun round. Steel breaker. Oh yeah, goes right through. Obviously. If I remember correctly, steel breaker is like a giant slug. Corner frag. Try that again. See those trails going up? Yep. Baphomet. Like an incendiary kind of thing. Alright, well, uh, it doesn't look like 
grenades. These grenades will work. <laughs> but let's try, actually, I want to try one more thing before I uh, have some fun here. So grenades don't do anything, but they do uh, emit like projectiles. So, oh, you know what? I am going to put that to weak again. Let's put one up. We do get projectiles, as you can see. Two there, Got three here, a couple here. Pretty cool. But it, yeah, it's not going to be like going to tear the target to shreds. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, tried explosives. And uh, if I remember correctly, Anton also said melee does not work. Because it's a melee weapon, obviously. Uh, I wonder if thrown objects work, but I'm probably, I probably don't think it will work. So let's see. Dogs are barking, just ignore that. Oh. I think I need to be a little bit farther back. Nope. I'm <laughs> throwing pencils at a target. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I, I don't think that works. Same thing with the uh, shurikens. Oh, wait, hold. I made a hole. Or did I make the hole bigger? Oh, no, I made a hole. Yeah. No, I didn't make a hole there. Come on, I, I, I saw. I, I could have sworn I made a hole. Or maybe I'm just seeing things. I made a hole. This one right here. It also went through. So, I mean, if you had enough force, maybe you could. <laughs> well, I'm not going to try that. That that could be for somebody else who's much more dedicated. Oh, man. Okay. Let's restart that. And uh, let's keep messing around. Bayonets. Do bayonets work? I know it's a melee weapon. Not a projectile. Oh, we do get a little bit of damage if we stab hard enough. Oh, wait. Got, got one. So, sort of. I mean, they're not slashing. You can't slash. You can make them damage, I guess. But I guess you can't cut them, like, in the traditional sense. But this is also, I think, on weak. So... I mean, if you work at it, maybe you could cut it. Let's let's grab ourselves something a little bigger and a little longer. Let's get a tomahawk here. And, uh... This is two-handed, is it? No, it's not. So, I mean, if you just, like, you know, worked at it, maybe you could eventually cut one of these things with a melee weapon. Yeah, I'm making some damage there. But it does, like, it's not a logical kind of damage, you know? It's not something like, oh, if you cut here, it'll make... That one just appeared right there. You can, shh, you know, cut the uh, cut the paper like that. You can't do that. But you can sort of, I guess, damage them. Give them bullet holes. Eventually, you start chipping away at them. <laughs> Oops. All right, well, yeah, so you can damage them, but it's not going to be like the traditional sense. Ugh. Oh, stuck. 
I don't know. Someone, someone should test that out. Police baton. I'm tired. <laughs> get, get out of here. Get, get it. Get. <laughs> oh, police baton in a target like that. Yeah, that's. Let's not get into that. Okay. Uh, what else can we do? Power tools. What power tools? If you don't like flashing lights, I'm sorry, I did that, so I should have uh, should have warned you before, but uh, I'm gonna do it again. I don't think uh, power tools will work. Again, not a project, not a projectile. Maybe if you threw it at like really fast speed. All right, so power tools don't obviously work. Um, yeah, so it's just uh, essentially bullets right now. Oh, we I haven't tried shotguns yet. You magazine fed. Let's get the scalpel. Oh, you know what? I got to change this. This is a uh, high explosive. A 12 gauge. This is, yeah, swag, HE, high explosive. Let's just go with a double lot buckshot. Get that in there. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I think I need to go at least a bit farther because the uh, buckshot shells will just like, like congregate at that one singular spot. You want them to spread. So you want, uh, you want distance. All right, doing that. Oh yeah, everything's falling apart already. Close. We're almost there. We got like two, two spaces, and one right there, one right there. That uh, need a little cleaning up. One more, other side. There we go. Okay. Let's do a strong target here, and let's see if we can get something else. Oh, let's see. Saiga, 20 round drum mag. AA-12, lever action. I'm gonna go with the AA-12. Let's get this stuff out of the way. That. Oh, I did not have a magazine inside. Okay, there we go. A lot more controllable recoil, so I can guide my shots more properly. we do the HE, I wonder what happens there. No, it just makes bigger holes. But 
what about FA? Just, I think fragmentation. It makes big holes, but also there's a little thing there. Oh. Oh, we have a lot of empty magazines there. Lachette. Lachette. Not as many holes as Buckshot, but, uh, yeah. It's going to take a lot to, uh, you know what? I should just do this. It's going to take a lot to get these, uh, these targets on strong. Well, we're starting to get there. What about number two bookshot? Let's see how that works. I kind of like number four. You know what? Let's do infinite ammo here. My computer is uh, not doing too well because of this. There we go. <laughs> A little infinite ammo trick for you. Uh, let's just do slug because that's not uh, killing my computer. But uh, yeah, basically you just... Uh, Take the ammo panel and go. Which, you know what? I should have done that with the MG42. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. It's probably going to kill my computer, but, uh, I'm probably going to have to stop soon anyway, so, uh... Oh, you know what? Let's do the, uh... And 249. Little box mag here. Go. This in there. Bipod out. Boop. Let's do a uh, strong target again. And... This is 5.56... Okay, uh, we're going to go with uh, Tracer, right? So we can see things. Just a second. No. How about armor piercing incendiary? Alright, that's just, uh, that's taking a lot of time there, but let's see what our damage is. 
Oh, man. Well. There's... That's why uh, realistic or strong. I, th I think that's the, uh, the uh, setting, right? Realistic. All right, let's go with weak. Weak is a lot easier. There we go. Oh, man. Infinite ammo. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> it's almost there. I just need a little bit more. There we go. Oh, man. All right, I think that's about it for me today. I'm kind of glad this is in the virtual space, though, because if uh, the if the weapons had that kind of, kind of contained fire for, like, that amount of time, you'd get some melted barrels right there, but uh, virtual reality, you know? But, yeah, so that's the new target system. Oh, this one's only a decal only, so, so nothing happens. I think it goes back to the old way, right? Oh no, we still get uh, bullet holes. But, uh... Yeah, you get uh, non-transparent bullet holes. Or at least... Oh no, it, it is transparent. I was just looking at the dark part right there, but yeah, you know, that's the uh, new paper targets. Ooh. I can't wait for the rest of the updates, especially some of the uh, ones that Anton's got coming up. We got like adjustable targets and, you know, shot timers and all that stuff. It'll uh, make the uh, sandbox experience a lot more great. But that's about it for today. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'll see you guys next time.